Data Tribe is described as a cybersecurity and data science startup foundry. What we mean by that is we pull together the raw elements of technical innovation, commercial practice, market knowledge, to forge the most advanced cybersecurity and data science companies in the world. We do that in Maryland because the largest concentration of cyber engineering resources in the world are actually based in Maryland, byproduct of massive U.S. government investment in cybersecurity and data science to the tune of tens of billions of dollars annually for decades. So you have this phenomenally deep reservoir of deep technical talent, the most advanced technical capabilities in the world. And we draw on that technical expertise, the benefits of that research, to identify teams of engineers that can be applied to develop cutting edge cyber defense or data science solutions. When Data Tribe invested in us, we already had a relatively mature product. We had a number of customers and we had repeat business. But what we didn't have was the ability to scale out our business. And Data Tribe recognized the value of what we were doing and realized that with just the infusion of $2 million, we would be able to develop our marketing and our sales capabilities into repeatable processes. We have been sitting on this technology that has been bootstrapped for multiple years and really had no commercial expertise on how to launch a commercial company because we're all former government contractors. And we showcase this at a technology conference in Maryland. And there happened to be some investors in the crowd who saw this, this technology we were developing. Those investors happened to be Data Tribe. They approached us afterwards and asked us if we ever thought about using this as a defensive opportunity instead of offensive. And that's when they actually worked with us to spin the technology out of my existing company, create Refirm Labs, and all with uh, a $1.5 million seed investment into this new technology to get the commercial business up and running. We start three to four companies a year. What we're looking for are over the horizon problems. We're not looking at today's problems. We're looking at areas of innovation that will be required in order to solve the next generation of problems. We were involved in starting a company called Dragos. Dragos is an industrial control systems security company. These are the people that think about securing electrical grids, petrochemical facilities, manufacturing facilities. Our perspective was that industrial control systems were increasingly going to become targets of cyber attacks. And so the founding team at Dragos, Rob Lee and his co-founders, were actually previously working for the government on the offensive side of the equation, developing capabilities to compromise the industrial control systems of U.S. adversaries in a time of war or if that capability was necessary. That team was pressed to the defensive side when the Russians attacked the Ukrainian power grid. So it was a good example of offensive capability being deployed to defense. And in fact, that team has identified four of the five attacks on critical infrastructure around the world today. So we teamed with Rob and his co-founders to start Dragos. We've been very fortunate that Data Tribe has supported us with both our seed round as well as our A round. We've grown our team from an initial team of 10 to where we're now 25. We've expanded greatly our engineering staff, which has allowed us to break into some new markets as well. When you look at Data Tribe today, what you see is the largest concentration of the most disruptive cybersecurity companies in the world, simply because we're tapping into that offensive expertise and it's resulted in a collection of companies, number one, we're very proud of, but truly are advancing the state of the art in cybersecurity and data science.